Welcome to the 20th MATLAB Arduino tutorial. This video will cover how to connect a gyroscope to the Arduino Uno and how to read and calibrate sensor data in MATLAB. We will be using the STL3G4200D, a three-axis digital output gyroscope that uses an I2C or SPI interface with user-selectable measurement range. There are several approaches to calibrating a gyroscope, for example, a rate table. For this tutorial, we will be using an inexpensive RC servo motor. For communication with the gyroscope, we will be using the I2C communication protocol and connecting the gyroscope to the Arduino with this pinout, VIN to VIN, ground to ground, SDA to A4, and SCL to A5. The servo motor control pin is going to be connected to the pin 9 on the Arduino. For the calibration procedure, let omega hat be the angular speed estimated by the gyroscope and let theta hat be the estimated angular distance calculated using the gyroscope values. To start the calibration routine, send the character C to the Arduino. The first step in calibration is to move the servo at a constant speed performing a 180 degree motion. 50 times while the servo is moving, the gyroscope is reading the estimated angular speed. At each iteration, I, the current angular rate, omega hat I, is averaged with the previous angular rate, omega hat I minus 1, to calculate the displacement. Theta hat 0 is equal to 0 and then theta hat i is equal to theta hat i minus 1 plus the average angular velocity times the change in time. In step 2, we calculate the ratio between the estimated angular distance and the true angular distance, 180 degrees. And in step 3, we do steps 1 and 2 four more times and then average the results from five tests giving us a gain value that we can use to calculate the true angular speed and distance. To calculate the angular speed after calibration, we take the gain and multiply it by the estimated angular speed. To calculate the angular distance between two successive readings, we take the average gain from the calibration and multiply it by the average angular velocity and the change in time. During calibration, the gyro has to be oriented in different directions on the servo. For x, y, and z, these are the orientations the gyro has to be at. Let's look at how to interface this module with the Arduino. First, include the I2C library with this line, and the servo library with this line. To find the addresses of the control registers, save the address of the gyroscope. Then, initialize X, Y, and Z, and set up the servo. Now, in setup, initialize the connection to the gyroscope and the serial connection. Set the control pin for the servo and tell it to go to zero degrees. Use the function write register, which we will define later, to enable X, Y, and Z and disable power down on the gyroscope. And then set a sampling rate on the gyroscope of 2000 degrees per second. Wait for the sensor to be ready and then run the character handshake with MATLAB. If there are characters available to be read from the computer, read them, then switch. If the requested mode is G, call getGyroValues, a function we will define later, and then print the outputs to serial. If the requested mode is C, then we are going to calibrate. Tell the servo to move from 0 to 180 degrees, and then 50 times while it is moving, read the gyro values and send them over serial. Move the servo back to zero degrees, and delay for the servo to move back. Next, in the function getGyroValues, read the MSB using readRegister, a function we will define later, and the LSB from the gyroscope. Then bit shift the MSB eight bits to the left, and then bitwise OR the two to combine. Do this for X, Y, and Z.
Next, define a function write register that takes the inputs int device address, byte address, and byte val. Start transmission to the device address, send the register address, send the value to write, and then end the transmission. Define a function read register that takes the inputs int device address and byte address. Start transmission, write the address, end the transmission, and then request a byte from the device. When the device is ready, read and return the value. After programming the Arduino, let's look at how to bring the data into MATLAB and calibrate it. We'll need the setup serial function created in the first tutorial, the close serial function created in the second tutorial, and a modified version of the read ACC function shown here called read gyro. In addition to taking in the serial connection to the Arduino, this function takes a boolean is calibration. If this function is being called during calibration, we do not need to send a request to the Arduino. We only have to read. So when this is false, we send the request character G. Next, in calibrate gyro.m, we define a function that takes in the gyro connection. For each axis, present a message asking the user to orient the specified axis for calibration, and then call calibrate axis with the gyro connection and the axis that is being calibrated. For the function calibrate axis, we take in the gyro connection and the axis that is being calibrated. We create a variable gain average that is equal to zero and a for loop that will run five times. For each iteration of the for loop, we start the timer by running tick and then create variables to hold the previous time, the previous rate, and the current angle. Start the calibration routine on the Arduino by sending the character C and then have a for loop that runs 50 times. Each time, we read the gyroscope values, and then use these if statements to set rate equal to the rate of the axis we're calibrating. Run talk to get the difference in time. Next, calculate the change in angle from the previous iteration of this for loop. Change in angle is equal to the averaged angular velocity times the change in time. Add the change in angle to the angle and store the current rate and the current time for the next iteration of this for loop. After the loop has been run 50 times, calculate the gain constant, add it to the gain average, and then pause. After the calibration routine has been run 5 times, we will divide gain average by 5 to get the average. Next, in getAngles.m, define a function getAngles that will be called to get the angle of the gyroscope after calibration. We take in the gyroscope connection and the gain values for each axis. First, we set up the persistent variables. These variables will retain their value every time this function is run, kind of like global variables. The first time this function is run, the persistent variables will be empty and we will have to assign them values, so we set each of them to zero. Also, the first time this is run, we are going to start the timer with tick. Then, read the gyro and get the current time. For each axis, run calculate angle with the previous rate for this axis, the current rate, and the gain. Add the new angle to the previous angle, and then run update angle. Do this for x, y, and z. Then, store the current values and the persistent variables for the next time this function is called. For the function calculate angle, we take in the previous rate, the current rate, and the gain, and then we return the averaged angular velocity times the change in time times the gain. For the function update angle, we are checking to see if the angle is greater than 360 or less than 0. If they are, then we have to subtract or add 360 degrees, respectively.
Finally, in the main script, gyro.m, we will use all of these functions. Run setup serial with the COM port specified, run calibrate gyro with the serial connection, and then open a figure with a button to stop the while loop here. Get the angles using the get angles function, print them, and pause. After the loop is exited, run close serial. Let's see this in action. Focus on the z-axis as I rotate the gyro on that axis. Thank you for watching. Please visit matlabarduino.org for more videos.